Well, meantime, a Hawkinsville couple made history recently, becoming the first Georgia farmers to ever win the prestigious National Outstanding Young Farmer Award. Yep, and Damon Jones paid a visit to Martin Farms to get a closer look at this operation and tells you what they do that makes them so successful. Despite owning a business management degree and owning his own consulting company, Chris Martin always knew where he wanted to end up, back on the farm. And that's exactly where him and his wife Ginger plan to stay as they operate this 3,500-acre farm in Hawkinsville. In 2002, I decided to kind of uh, get out of the consulting business and get into farming. Uh, my dad and my uncle had farmed all my life, and it was something I always wanted to do. Um, and so I began renting. Uh, a couple of brothers decided they wanted to retire, so I started renting their land, and it just kind of grew from there. Uh, to where it is now. While Chris grew up around farming, the same can't be said for Ginger. So while it was a lifestyle that took some getting used to, it's also a way of life she wouldn't have any other way. We're both from Hawkinsville, but I'm not from a farm family originally, and so it was a lot for me to learn and get used to. The hard work and the commitment, the long hours are not always fun, but the lifestyle, I love the lifestyle. We're down here on the land, and when we have a camp house here, and we hunt and we swim and we fish and I would not trade anything for the farming lifestyle. And that passion was rewarded recently as the couple became the first farmers from Georgia to win the National Outstanding Young Farmers Award. It was a competition that took many factors into account, including conservation. Uh, about 75% of our acres is uh, pivot, uh, center pivot irrigated. Uh, we use conservation tillage, uh, using cover crops and strip tillage. Uh, which conserves moisture and uh, keeps weeds under control. The couple's involvement in the community was also a major reason for this honor. In fact, when they're not on the farm, you're more than likely to find them helping out around the Hawkinsville area. I've done a lot of chaperoning on trips and things like that. And then also we've worked with our local chamber of commerce and our local community chest. And Chris and I helped to co-found a pre-K program for Hawkinsville several years ago that has grown and is now very successful. Unlike many farmers, the Martins didn't inherit any of the land they work on today. While building from the ground up can be difficult, here's some advice for young farmers looking to get into the business. Start out, you know, kind of small. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, I, I rented a small farm, uh, and and I had uh, didn't have a whole lot of equipment. Used uh, some older equipment when I first got going. Uh, built some equity up, and then was able to, uh, whenever some land came available, I was able to take advantage of that. So while it might take plenty of hard work and patience, Martin says the rewards are well worth it. I love it. It's, uh, it's a great occupation being outside uh, and, and just being able to grow crops for a living and, and being, being with nature all day. And, and, you know, it's just a real rewarding being able to own land and, and be on the land uh, is, is a great opportunity. Reporting from Hawkinsville, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.